11 Alive medical correspondent, Dr. Sujatha Jotha Reddy, joining us. What is it specifically here? It's textured implants because implants are very common overall. Yeah, they're actually the most common plastic surgical procedure done these days, but the difference here is 95% of implants used are not textured, they're smooth. Only about 5% of implants in the US used are textured. Around the world it's a little bit different, but in America, the minority of women have the textured implant. So while this seems scary, most women don't have to worry about it. And there are specific implants that have been recalled that if people are wondering, oh, I might have textured, what do they need to know specifically here? You're correct. So most times when you have anything implanted in your body, if it's like a total knee replacement or some sort of hardware in a bone, you're going to get a card from the surgeon, from the manufacturer that's going to tell you the name, the lot number, etc. But specifically, Allergan is taking off the market the Natrell brand and line of implants and we have a graphic of that and there's several different brands of them or different types of them excuse me but all these have been recalled also all the natrel tissue expanders that are sometimes used for reconstructive surgery are also being recalled what that means is doctors have to send these back mm -hmm. patients should not be getting these as new implants but the thing is for the women who have these or may have textured implants what the FDA is really saying the message out there is don't panic don't rush to have these removed because the risk is still low of this cancer. It's actually a very curable mm. cancer. What they're saying is don't rush to have the implants out because the risk of the surgery is probably greater than the risk of the cancer. So just be aware for symptoms. You got it. And what we're looking for there okay. is going to be redness, swelling at the side of the implant, around the breast, or any kind of abnormal lump or bump, which we should also okay. look for anyway. If you see those, then you want to take that seriously and get to your surgeon. All right. We have a lot more information on 11alive.com. Dr. Reddy, as always, thanks so much. Thank you. Jeff? Great information, guys. Thank you.